Good afternoon, you're watching Headlines today. I'm Sanjana Chauhan. It's our top focus for the hour. There was no end to protests in Tamil Nadu over the capital punishment awarded by a Sri Lankan court to five Indian fishermen for alleged drug trafficking. Now, a day after pro-Tamil groups tried to lay siege to the Lankan Deputy High Commission in Chennai, today the CPM led the charge. Sri Lanka, on its part, sought to downplay India's concerns. The Lankan government said India is clearly aware of legal systems in the country. DMK President Karunanidhi said since the fishermen had been allowed time till November the 14th to appeal in the Supreme Court, the centre should immediately contact the Sri Lankan government and pave the way for their release. The centre, meanwhile, has given an assurance saying that India will pursue the appeal further. T.S. Sudhir, editor South, now joining us in the phone line with more. Uh, Sudhir, we understand that there's massive protests in Chennai, lots of anger, the government vowing action, but Sri Lanka sort of maintaining their ground, evasive more like it, and saying that India is fully aware of the legalities. Well, the Sri Lankan establishment obviously wants to project it essentially as a legal issue that it is for the court and subsequently the Supreme Court of Sri Lanka where the uh, five fishermen have been given time till the 14th of November to make their appeal. That is to take the final call. But in Tamil Nadu, obviously political parties are also realizing that it is an extremely emotional issue that they have to react to what the fishermen back home in Rameshwaram are saying which is why over the last 24 to 48 hours we have been seeing protests organized in um, uh, Chennai by different groups. But in Rameshwaram itself, uh, though there was anger, there was a burning of a bus, there were railway tracks, uh, some fish plates being removed. But in the last 24 hours, we have seen that fishermen and their families actually gathering only for a peaceful hunger protest, demanding that they get their sons back alive. And they would want the state government of Tamil Nadu, as well as the union government there in Delhi, to actually make moves to ensure that the five fishermen can be brought back to Tamil Nadu alive. Right, dear Sudhir, thank you so much for bringing us that update. There's anger over death for fishermen. Stay with us. We have some breaking news coming in.